Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time uh, we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generations Titans Return um, episode. Um, our heroes respond. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, it's it's quite an interesting episode to 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 um to um um um, um to uh, 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 to to say the least. I apologize. For <laughs> I apologize on stuttering. Um, I uh, was. Um, Something was there. Technical issues within within my vocal uh, vocal modulator. I will uh, I'll have to uh, re reset it to default by the end of this review. So basically, the episode, um, yeah, it um, it's it pretty much starts off with well, Windblade and Metroplex have this interesting conversation as Trichicon's making his way to the the main Basilica of Cybertron and Metroplex explains the origins of the Titans you know because pretty much they go from planet to planet they're dormant in city mode for a while and when it's time to lead it's time to lead and Metroplex uh, intended to leave Cybertron however he plans to take on Trichicon by himself Windblade doesn't think that's necessary and she goes off to find Perceptor who is figuring out the DNA from Starscream's remains, saying that one of the molecules is an undamaged molecule that's pretty much an undamaged molecule. Basically, in a nutshell, this molecule is an indestructible uh, mole mo molecule. Say that ten times fast. They meet up with the Mistress of Flame, and she um, she summons the the Air Squadron consisting of. Thundercracker, Skywarp, Sunstorm, Hotlink, and a few other fighter jets to fight Trypticon. Uh, that doesn't work, as they are, they they all get killed by Trypticon. Uh, Mr. Flame contacts uh, Rodimus Prime, who, well, he's reverted back to Hot Rod since he returned the Matrix of Leadership to the Chorus of the Primes. When the Mistress of Flame finds out, she's pissed. She's fucking pissed, and says that they need the Matrix to stop Trypticon. True, they do need the Matrix to stop Trypticon. Um, that Perceptor brings up Fortress Maximus, saying that they may need Fortress Maximus to, to help Metroplex take on Trypticon. Um, which um, Perceptor unfortunately doesn't know, but then Mistress, Mistress, of Flame, Mistress of Flame decides to send all the combiners to go find Fortress Maximus, as Computron knows the location of said um, said um, said Fortress Maximus. While while that's going on, at the end of the episode, Wimbley and Fortress Maximus go and take on Trypticon. And that's the end of the episode. Although it was interesting, it was um, it was good. I like much of Alex's backstory. It's pretty cool. Um, and all that was a pretty good episode. Um, I mean, I mean, a lot of Mistress of Flame, a lot of Mistress of Flame involved. It was pretty cool, but all in all, it was it was very good to see. Um, but in all honesty, it was a good episode. Loved it. Fun. Um, exciting. Um, and I mean, yeah, it was pretty awesome. I'll say I'll say that. Although Metroplex a little bit tinier than he was in Combiner Wars because his hand was the size of a bloody skyscraper at the end of Combiner Wars when he when he destroyed uh, Starscream. I know, interesting. But all in all, it was good to see. Uh, here's what happens in the next episode and all I can do. It was a pretty good episode to say the least. So yes, it is my video review the Transformers Generations Titans Return uh, uh, episode our heroes respond. I'll see you all very soon. I'll be back as soon as possible with my next video. And yes, so take your season. Have a good day. And I'll catch you all later. Bye bye.